beloved one, I hope you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You are blessed son. Stay blessed. Many things should happen in the secret place. If the only thing you do in the secret place is praying in tongues, then there is a lot you are missing. Let me tell you, praying in tongues is very important. But you see, the Holy Spirit must be the governor and the Lord of your secret place. There are times you go to the secret place and for one hour you cannot say a word. You just sit down, yet you are communicating. Because you see, in the realm of the Spirit, your mouth is not the only instrument of communication. There can be a spirit communication happening, yet your mouth is not saying anything. Your mind may even be unfruitful to that experience. But after that secret place, you know that you left with something. It's like an intercourse. Learn it. This is how to be spiritual. It is not longevity in the Christian environment that makes people mature. It is their ability to have trained their spirits, to, to train their sensitivity, to be able to understand the things that the Holy Spirit is doing. If all that the Holy Ghost wants us to do tonight is to just sing and sing and worship, that's what we do. He is the governor. He is the one who is responsible for the transformation. He knows what menu befits what situation. There are people, the situation in your life right now, sincerely speaking, you don't need a sermon. You need a song. It's only a song that has the capacity to minister to you. Are we together? When you've been beaten by life, you've prayed, you've fasted, sometimes he captures his thoughts in a song. And you may, like all the songs that we sang here, you may not remember anything, but there is a line. That's where the anointing is. The anointing may not be on all the songs. It may just be on a line, a phrase, a clause, a sentence, part of it. And you keep singing it till your spirit soaks that anointing. Are we together? You must understand. This is how people are edified. You see, because in a place like this, there are people inside, outside. Are we together now? And everybody has his needs. As a man of God, you don't just come with a redumented understanding. You see, people will keep looking at you, but very soon your church will go dry. Because the truth is that the Holy Spirit, it, the operation of the Holy Spirit, his omnipresence is a mystery. Such that everybody can leave a meeting and say, you were talking to me. Yet, the experiences were different. For many people, half of your edification for tonight's meeting has happened in this worship. If we did not capture this moment of worship, there is something that God intended for you tonight that you would not have received. Let's learn to be spiritual. Let's learn to be spiritual. Let's learn organization is good, but carnality is driving the fullness of the Holy Spirit from our lives, from our meetings, because of regimented activities. Organization is good, 
But brothers and sisters, we are talking about the spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit is not an angel. When he comes, you step back. I think it's pride to resist the Holy Spirit. I think it's sin to resist the Holy Spirit. Even if it is for the sake of the breakthrough of one person, let's let him do it. You hear people shouting, it's not a proof that a man is anointed. It's a proof that God is working. Are we together now? You left your house and you came and the Spirit of God is working. The angels of God that excel in strength, they are working. Reading the hearts of men like pages of books. Oh, this one is in need of a healing. Ah, uh, how do we communicate the healing? Okay, there is somewhere in the message where we'll come and they leave you. And they go to someone. This person is depressed. At this level of depression, you will not even hear anything. So he comes back to the preacher and says, raise a song. Because there is somebody who is too depressed to start hearing any rema. No matter what you say, it will not bless him. It is in that song. You find out that everyone may be tired, but only two people are crying. That song was for them. This is called the ministry of the spirit. So, the Holy Ghost is ministry. You see that? It's not, it's not charismatism. It's not an, an, a, a man of God showing his anointed. Uh-uh. It's the Holy Spirit. This is the only way you bless people. L listen, let me tell you. It's not just by the excellency of speech. It's by allowing the Holy Spirit. You must give him right of way. I've said it. You can fake power. You can't fake relationship. You can't fake the secret place. We must have the ears that hear and the eyes that see. As a preacher, as a man of God, you are standing here as a servant in partnership with the Holy Spirit to minister to the needs of people. Men of God, let's never forget that this whole thing is about the people. If there are 90 people here who are sick, even if I'm teaching on relationship, the healing anointing will start flowing. You see that? Because the Holy Ghost knows 90 people cannot come sick and go just because I plan to. No, 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 no. The Holy Ghost will say, I know we prepared for this, but the hunger of my people is and their faith is compelling that dimension of the anointing. And a wise man of God will be able to say, even so, come. The spirit and the bride, come. Come. Come, Lord Jesus. Someone traveled far to come and get an anointing. Come, Lord Jesus. Someone left the hospital with their medical bills to come come lord jesus so after a meeting like this you find out that as people are going home everybody leaves with a testimony or that if you teach religiously a time will come where only a few people a few people not more than 10 out of thousands of people who will be saved let me tell you what members do they love you but the truth is that they are not being changed and they will, they may not stop coming, but their faith dies. When they come, they don't expect transformation. They, they will not even invite anybody because they know it's an embarrassment. What will I tell this visitor now? Come for koinonia and the visitor says, it's half of the service already. I've not been blessed. My depression is still there. The headache is pounding me. I thought you said the Holy Spirit is here. If you are in ministry or God is calling you into ministry here, I beg you in the name of Jesus Christ, pay the price before you come and hold the mic. Give the people something. Let every meeting be an encounter. An encounter. From the worship. That's why we pray. That's why we prepare for every meeting as if it's the last. Because you don't know whose destiny someone may visit koinonia now once and may not have the privilege to come again so he will live with his perception there's no excuse if you're a pastor here make sure your workers are spiritual i've said it skill is good but spirituality precedes skill you see him playing this thing someone can sit down and be playing the keyboard and what he's playing is music and alter what the holy spirit is doing another person can sit on the drums and just be playing whatever he wants to do another person can hold the mic here and stand to sing and just be twisting your tongue and the people know they are not getting blessed 
Excellence is only useful when spirituality is intact. Then you can communicate. It's the ministry of the Spirit. Let the weight of your glory let it cover us. Let the life of your river flow. Let this truth that brings healing let it rain in us. Let the weight of your glory. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm going to be teaching tonight. Wherever we stop, if we can finish it, because I want us to pray. Hallelujah. I'm teaching tonight on the gifts of the Spirit. I want you to expect a solid encounter. Please. A solid encounter. Open your spirit, open your ears. You're a man of God, open your spirit for the sake of your precious members. Open your spirit. Tonight's teaching is going to introduce something to our lives by the grace of God. I, I trust God. There is, there is somewhere I want us. I'm trusting that God will take us. It's like a flight in the spirit. If we can get there tonight, we have made progress. But I pray, I pray that no flesh will stop us from attaining there. First Corinthians chapter 12. Spirit of God, help our weaknesses. Let us be communicators of spirit and life. The subject of the gift of the spirit has scarcely been dealt with, especially in recent time in the body of Christ. Great men like Papa E. Hagin, E. W. Kenyon, T. L. Osborne, and great men and women who ministered powerful in the spirit from the 40s, the 50s, then the, the faith movement and the charismatic revival that swept across the mid-60s down to the late 70s into the early 80s and after that many people have experienced the ministry of the spirit we have written books about the gifts of the spirit not just the gifts but dimensions of operation in the spirit but i think in my opinion and, and may god forgive me if i sound proud but i think there is a very big gap in the understanding of people over the gifts of the spirit the truth is that even those who walk in them cannot properly explain them. It's just been from one manuscript theologically communicated to another. And so it's, it's largely a repetition. But tonight I trust that God will help us to do justice. In the name of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. When Jesus walked the earth, Jesus manifested certain dimensions of the Holy Spirit that, that caused the people in his day to marvel. The Gospels are full of exclamations of shock and wonder as to the invincibility of Jesus Christ. Three and a half years, but he moved in such proportions of power and grace. Are we together? And Jesus began to mentor he taught but he took out his time to mentor 12 people there were other different groups 72 and etc but the 12 people he began to mentor them he taught them on several things and when you read the gospels you see um the book of matthew mark luke all of them are wonderful but notice that the communicators did not emphasize the ministry of the holy spirit there were certain dimensions but there was very little emphasis it was john 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 the apostle 
Are we together now? When you read from chapter 14, chapter 15, chapter 16, it was an, the entire, those scriptures were an exegesis on the personality of the Holy Spirit. Jesus was introducing the person of the Holy Spirit to them. He called him in different names a helper a standby etc etc they had seen the manifestations of jesus at a certain time he empowered them and sent them two by two the bible says they returned with wonders yet they did not understand the dynamics of what they were doing they said master even the demons were subject to us in thy name and he said do not rejoice that the demons are subject to you let me give you another reason and then he says i saw satan falling so several things do you know even the apostles themselves did not have a thorough understanding as to the gifts of the spirit the gifts of the spirit did not start manifesting in the new testament it's always been there in different dimensions but no one was able to construct a theology a doctrine out of it and communicate it intelligently to the body of christ it was paul the apostle Paul the apostle who was granted access to the mysteries of Christ came to the church in Corinth now theologically speaking the church in Corinth where they were at a period of spiritual renaissance the power of God was breaking out all kinds of things they did not know the name of what was manifesting through them they knew that the Holy Spirit found a lavish dimension of um, um, access to that territory People were prophesying to a point that there was disorderliness. So when Paul came, Paul knew that he needed to build a theological basis for the understanding of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And then importantly, the gifts of the Spirit. Are we together now? So Paul now is speaking to them on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Verse 4. 12 verse 4 please let's be very fast let's trust God for grace hallelujah it starts from verse 1 if you read it says now concerning spiritual gifts please give us verse 1 then we'll go to verse 4 it says now concerning spiritual gifts the Holy Ghost is speaking through Apostle Paul I do not want you koinonia to be ignorant meaning that you can be born again filled with the holy spirit even walking in the gifts of the spirit but you are ignorant of the dynamics the inner workings of it and it's impossible to gain mastery when you are trying it takes understanding it says concerning spiritual gifts brethren so he's speaking to people who are born again speaking to those who have had an encounter with the life of god i do not want you to be ignorant let's go to verse 4 there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirits there. This is a very interesting information. Notice the construction of Paul. Paul is teaching people who he wants to have. You can sit down, brother, or find somewhere. If you can't sit on his seat, you can sit uh, wherever there. He says there are diversities of gifts. Let me tell you what that means. Look up, please. Paul is saying you are going to see people move in dimensions that are unusual dimensions that will stretch you sometimes beyond your normal um gentleman hold on my friend listen hold on just leave the guy he's crying just leave him there please don't worry let him just shift just shift a little there and leave him let's just leave him with god there and it's all right he was covering the camera thank you there are diversities of gifts listen do you know why paul brought this because if you understand the gift of the spirit it can stretch faith except you know God there are certain gifts that are controversial in their operation so Paul is saying look the first information church I want you to know is that in your walk of faith you are going to encounter men that will move so strangely in the gifts of the spirit it will stretch your intellect it will stretch your education you are going to see things you are not familiar with but I give you a note it is the same spirit that is operating are you getting that information now 
So someone can come for a meeting like this and watch people fly under the anointing. Are we together now? And watch people running out by the Spirit and say, this is, this is strange. I am not used to the Holy Spirit moving this way. That's why Paul started by giving us this information. That the gifts of the Spirit are diverse. Brothers and sisters, the first information I want you to know tonight is that the gifts of the Spirit are not nine. The gifts of the Spirit are only theologically classified based on the revelation that Paul's exegesis gives us. But the gifts of the Spirit are not nine. That's why the Word of God must be studied from the vista of the Spirit. Otherwise, all that you will just read is theology. He says there are how many gifts? Diversities, meaning there were certain gifts Paul did not see but are available. The gifts never stopped as nine. The gifts are as diverse as the alignment of the saints, meaning that you are going to see certain gifts that you may not exactly find a name for them. And so chances are that when you see it, you're going to say, no, 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 this may not be of God. There are diversities of gifts. Are you learning something tonight? It says, but the same spirit. When you study God's generals, one of the controversies between two of the generals, Alexander Doe and um, Maria Woodward Eater. Now listen, Maria Woodward Eater, historically speaking, was the one who brought what we call trans evangelism a phenomenon where people under a strange influence of the spirit will not only fall under the anointing but will freeze in a position for hours it's not a phenomenon that they had seen it was in our meetings like this guy now he can stand like that for five hours you can't do that ordinarily with your hand and you can see people stop like this for hours now watch this they did not have internet and the media was not strong for people to have access to themselves. So when Alexander Doe, although a great man, mighty man who in the healing anointing, when he stumbled across a woman at the other side of the earth who was carrying out mighty miracles, he found out from her meetings that people were freezing and stopping. Alexander Doe said, that woman, number one, the fact that she's a woman, ministry is under the spirit of divination and maria woodward Ita said no i'm a woman who loves god god anointed me and called me to be an evangelist this is a man of god anointed alexander doe was the spiritual mayor of illinois but at the zion city yet in that level that that supposed high level of spirituality he could not discern that although this manifestation was foreign to him it was still of the Holy Ghost. This is one of the biggest limitations that the church has given the Holy Spirit. That the fact that God is not moving the way he moved five years ago does not mean he's not the one moving. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. There are manifestations that you see that you may never be able to capture. The Holy Ghost can open your eyes and conjure scriptures together that will paint a picture that reflects that experience. But you will not see it at plain sight. And so chances are that you will doubt the fact that it is God moving in that dimension. Smith Wigglesworth will be moved powerfully under the spirit and he would carry a dead man and punch the man. Not that he was an angry man. He didn't even know what moved him. What is the name of that gift? Listen, let me tell you something. Are you seeing why when he finished teaching, he told them, I show you a more excellent way. A more excellent way of ministering these gifts perfectly. Because if you lack love, there will be criticism. There will be cynicism. Are we together? Why did you heal this brother by hugging him? Where is it in the Bible that you hug a brother and heal him? And so you say, this is the devil. Where is it in the Bible 
that a congregation hold their hands together to pray in tongues that means praying in tongues is demonic publicly are you seeing now and sometimes i have taught us here that the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything a herbalist can show you scriptures here that will cause you to walk in witchcraft many things happen in the bible demons spoke donkeys spoke people spoke in their backslidden state prophets who doubled into divination spoke it takes the spirit to divide the word accurately and show you which was sponsored the part of scripture that was sponsored by the spirit is what we call the word of god are you getting blessed there are diversities of gifts diversities of gifts in this end time we are going to see moves of the spirit in proportions and dimensions that will bring harsh criticism but will birth the glory of god in unusual ways point number two please let's hurry up number five media help us there are differences in ministries now do you know what he's saying that means under the same gift the way you dispense it like a pharmacist giving drugs is different the same gift but the dispensing of that gift the administration of it is different that means you can see three prophets are we together but the character and the nature of that operation is different verse 6 then it says there are diversities of activities but it's the same God who works all and in all so let's get to the gifts seven but the manifestation of the spirit is given to each one for the profit of all now here is the key the gift of the spirit is for the profit of the body the profit of the body the profit of the body not the profit of a denomination not the profit of a man of God not a profit of just an individual it is for the profit of all verse 8 for to one is given the word of wisdom so Paul is classifying them now are we together now through the spirit to another is given the word of knowledge through the same spirit please let's run it down next verse to another faith by the same spirit to another gifts of healing take note do you see an s there with gifts not a gift of healing gifts of healing by the same spirit next verse to another oh dear media is playing a lot of games with our our passion let me open it so that i can read it there's no time for this to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another discerning of spirits to another various or diverse kinds of tongues to another interpretation of tongues 11 and we stop there it says but all this worketh that one and the same very same spirit dividing unto every man severally as he wills now close your bible and let's talk so paul for the sake of order remember the entire text of first of first corinthians 12 13 14 the entire subject can be summarized in one word first corinthians 14 verse 40 it says let all things be done decently and in order so paul he, his 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 passion is to see that everything is done decently but in order to do that he had to build like a wise master builder and teach them the gifts of the spirit are not limited to nine yes it is true that there are nine gifts theologically classified according to the experience of the present day church theologically speaking the nine gifts let's work with the nine gifts for the sake of understanding um, many of us know that they are divided into three categories the first category is called the revelatory gifts the gifts that have to do with revelation and insight from the realm of the spirit revelatory gifts 
and there are three of the revelatory gifts the word of wisdom the word of knowledge and the discerning of spirits i'm not going to dwell on all of them i'll just touch them there are a few i want us to just stop there revelatory gifts that's the first classification theologically speaking that the gifts of the spirit are classified into three first revelatory gifts the word of wisdom the word of knowledge the discerning of spirits number two utterance or vocal gifts that's the second classification gifts that have to do with speech communication all the gifts will require communication but that this one's the primary medium for dispensing them is your mouth speech the gift of diverse kinds of tongues the gift of interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy comes under this classification the gift of diverse kinds of tongues don't just write tongues diverse kinds of tongues the gifts of interpretation of tongues and the gift of prophecy and then number three power gifts the third classification theologically speaking power gifts and that includes the gift of faith the gifts of healing add s to gifts the gifts of healing and then the working of miracles so three 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 the revelatory gifts that make you think like christ the utterance gifts that make you speak like christ the power gifts that make you act like christ the revelatory gifts make you think like Christ the vocal gifts make you speak like Christ the power gifts cause you to act like Christ are we together let's take them one by one very quickly number one word of wisdom what is it what exactly is the word of wisdom <laughs> The word of wisdom is the ability to supernaturally profess solutions to situations and problems. The supernatural ability to profess solutions to situations, problems, challenges that are beyond your current level of education. Sorry, I'm fast, I'm running. Supernatural ability to profess solutions. To problems and situations beyond your current level of education, exposure, physical maturity and experience. When you sustain an ability in the spirit to communicate divine ideas and solutions to human problems. Problems that defy your current level of exposure. Problems that defy the, 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 the knowledge that your level of maturity should have brought your level of education and your level of experience is called the word of wisdom access to supernatural illumination access to supernatural understanding you need it now let me tell you this many people have downplayed on this gift of the spirit you know why because in our thinking we think it is not charismatic do you know do you know truly let me tell you this is one of the apex of the apostolic ministry not even power gifts not revelatory gifts it's impossible to claim you're working in the apostolic office truly and lack the gift of wisdom because the apostolic office is first an administrative office jesus himself manifested this john chapter 8 when you read 1 to 11 it was the 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 issue of the woman who was caught in adultery john chapter 8 1 to 11 we're not going to we're not going to read all that because of time but just write it john chapter 8 1 to 11 jesus was teaching and he sat down somewhere and then the pharisees and scribes caught a woman in adultery you know every time i read this story i'm surprised where was the man you see that victimizing women did not start today no the man may be part of them the goal was to pin jesus you, you see it now let me tell you where you need this gift because 
this our world is full of wicked men and women who will look for every and anything to throw you destroy your business destroy your ministry destroy you down you need the gift of the word of wisdom and then they came to Jesus sorry there's no time let me just quote it threw that woman in front of him and they said Jesus you claim you're a prophet you claim you are by here's a test we caught this woman in adultery in the very act of it very act means that there should be a man he said man you can go the woman let's just go <laughs> you see how wicked those people were then when they threw him they now said Moses said I hope you know that part of the condition to be a true prophet is that you must acknowledge every other prophet that has come so if Jesus now rejected Moses they'll say you see you're a fake prophet and if Jesus said yes you are right they'll say now you have submitted to our religious governing authorities that was a difficult situation you will be faced with situations in your life where yes and no will still put you in trouble both yes and no will land you in trouble your enemies is like penalty you know how they they, they pay football and they pin you you are the goalkeeper they're about to pay the the people are already shaking themselves it's at that point you need to tap into this dimension of the gift of the spirit people vow that because of tribalism they will drive you out of your job the boss says something your superior and direct boss and the manager says something conflicting statements they carry the file and drop and two of them are calling you let me tell you you don't need education you need the gift of the word of wisdom you obey the one directly under you they sack two of you you obey the one above you you come back and meet the one in your unit it helps us to think like Christ he says let this mind permit this mind to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus business people need this mind every leader needs this understanding and here's what Jesus did they thought Jesus was going to say certain things Jesus kept writing writing the Holy Ghost was moving him the fountain of wisdom self then he lifted up his head in confidence and here's what he said he who does not have sin he was talking about it's another way of saying I'm the only one who is qualified to cast the stone you get it and then he said he just like Joseph said find a man who is discreet and wise it was another way of saying I'm here oh. he who does not have sin to cast the stone and I'm sure he was the oldest guy who was the other party there and he lifted the stone and he dropped it everyone dropped it and he said woman where are thine accusers and she turned he said neither do I accuse you go and sin no more Jesus manifested that was not word of knowledge that was the gift of the word of wisdom how many times we have been whipped by life because we lack this an opportunity that would have honored you how many pastors who stood before government officials would have made certain statements by the spirit that would have given them access to certain things imagine how many foolish decisions our loved ones have taken born again and filled with the holy spirit but not allowing these possibilities find expression you need the gift of the word of wisdom in your life education is limited your experiences are limited you cannot wait to respond to life only based on your exposure and experience you will need that grace can we pray in one minute and cry to the God of heaven and say Lord I'm tired of foolish decisions I access wisdom by the Spirit the word of wisdom my life is full of challenges that need to be surmounted and Lord I need a dimension of wisdom that is beyond my age there are many of us in ministry you you have challenges financially administratively in terms of growth and membership there are many of us here you need grace you don't know what to do should I get a job should I do business you, you need the word of wisdom you need the word of wisdom a supply of intelligence that is above this realm you need God to communicate something that bails you out lift your voice and pray in one minute help me oh God spirit of the living God I open up to you 
My destiny is at the mercy of your wisdom. Speak to me. Tired of piercing myself again and again with needless sorrows. When your wisdom can bail me out of the vicissitudes of life. Hallelujah. Are we blessed? Please sit down. We have to run. Just help those under the anointing. In 2004, I spent three weeks praying this gift into my life. Three weeks. God is my witness. Praying it into my life. I said, Lord, you cannot send me as foolish as I am. And I am too young to make the decisions I should make. I need a supply of intelligence that is higher. Listen, some mistakes in life don't have second chance. Some answers, the Bible says to not be hasty. You can stand before your destiny helper and blow up your opportunity forever. That's why Jesus kept quiet. Because this is not a usual communication. You need the spirit to speak. How many people have stood before their supervisors? How many people have stood before their financial helpers? How many people have stood before their boss? He says, I will give you a mouthpiece and a wisdom that your enemies will not be able to gainsay or resist. Number two, the word of knowledge. What is it? The word of knowledge is a supernatural insight and access into past and present events with a view to proffering solutions with a view to proffering solutions access into happenings access into occurrences sometimes even occurrences that predate your own birth Our world is full of wickedness and we need this dimension of the Holy Spirit that can help us to go back in time and piece together useful informations that help us to interpret the happenings in our lives. Are we together now? Oftentimes the secret to the future is in the past. When we can sustain the eyes to go back and see and understand Word of knowledge. The purpose of the gift of the word of knowledge. Primarily, aside from supplying information, is to build the faith and the conviction of the recipients. If I can reach into an information in your life and supply you an information, that might be useful in helping you interpret your today it can build your faith now notice that the gift of the word of knowledge and prophecy works peri pursue in fact many people mistaking this gift half of what people call prophecy is the manifestation of the word of knowledge the word of knowledge only deals with past events and present events when it becomes futuristic that's prophecy past events present events Two examples very quickly in John chapter 1 you read from verse 45 to the last verse 51 John chapter 1 the Bible tells us about a man called Nathaniel are we together Nathaniel was beckoned by Philip that Jesus they had met the Messiah that was prophesied and Nathaniel made a very sarcastic statement Nathaniel said can anything good come out of Nazareth while all that conversation was happening Jesus was somewhere watching them. Then Nathanael comes and Jesus sees Nathanael. Here's what Jesus said. An Israelite indeed in whom there is guile. And Nathanael saw him and said, uh-uh, you mean you know me? And he said, Nathanael, while you were under the tree insulting me, I saw you. <gasps> Nathanael was amazed. Immediately, an attestation, this is the Christ, truly, the son of the living God. And then he said, Nathanael, just because I gave you this, you were stunned. You are going to see the heavens open and the angels ascending and descending. Remember when Jesus was with the Samaritan woman at the well. That woman had the potential to bring a lot of people to hear and listen to Jesus. Preparing them for what 
would happen at redemption but there needed to be an access point the woman had to be convicted and then Jesus came to her and they started a conversation about water and then Jesus looks at her and says to her madam you have five husbands past the sixth one that you are with now is not your husband and she looks she said I perceive you are a prophet and then he began to talk to her the Bible says she left her water pot there ran to the city and said all of you come come and see a man he didn't say come and see a preacher come and see a man that manifested a gift that astonished me come come see a man that has told me what I've done and when the people came and listened to Jesus here was their testimony we now believe not because of what you have said we have had that encounter by ourselves the word of knowledge if used in accordance to the word is powerful i have watched people's faith jump leap just because a communication one word was given to them by the spirit do you know let me tell you this never fight the gifts of the spirit it may be abused that's why we are balancing it but do not ever fight it the encouragement that happens to your faith when a true man of God gives you a genuine word of knowledge not a general guesswork that you know this is not edifying there are words of knowledge that are not blessing are we together if I look at you and say you have pain all over your body the probability is yes something must be paining you somewhere so that's not powerful enough to convict you but when I look at you and say pastor alpha while you were eating yam from home before coming and this and that and that and that and i talk to you ah then something happens to your faith and all of a sudden you look and you are like my the god who can see me is the one who is telling me now by this time tomorrow you will be foolish to doubt him are we together now the word of knowledge listen listen let me have your attention the word of knowledge is a powerful instrument of building faith have you gone to a place where you see people being sarcastic and nasty and lousy and insulting the cynical people and then one really strong accurate powerful well delivered word of knowledge and all of a sudden you see everybody wipes sleep and you say lift up your hand and everybody is lifting and open the unbelief in our world require the gifts of the spirit to tame doubt and release the power of God to people I remember betting with a woman the gender of her child and I told her she argued it was a female I said if it's a male you will make pepper soup for me if it's a female I don't know how to make pepper soup so I will give you the financial equipment I started dancing I said hey somebody is going to make pepper soup for me what a free way of earning a living <laughs> imagine what happens to your stubborn loved ones you know we have almost every family has for whatever reason we have people around us who the devil is trying to snatch you pray in tongues they shout they talk nonsense I want to go to the house of God no 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 and then one day God just lands in a way and you commune not not for self aggrandizement you speak a powerful word to your father and say sir the Lord told me to tell you while you were at the bank trying to collect that money it was remember that your argument with that woman her name was Stella usually they will act as if you are lying and then later they'll call you and say who told you let me tell you the human spirit can never resist the supernatural our pride can claim it doesn't matter it's a lie it's a lie if you if you encounter the word of knowledge whether you repent or not you can't sleep that night for sure ah, ah. he called my name and said this and said that i think where it was in joss if you can remember when just ministering um some i think one of the polytechnics and then while i was ministering the holy ghost ministered to me that there was a young man who was doubting you know 
know, these are people where, you know, doubting, doubting. How are we sure? Remember the story? And I said, there is a young man. Now, this is what you are thinking to yourself. You are doubting. And this is what is wrong with you. God will heal you now. When that guy came out, even me, when you see him, you know it had to be God that brought him out. Guy just came out dragging and said, honestly, he was standing there doubting this thing. I was like magic. Brothers and sisters, our shout is too much. Let the gift help us. Our, our, our begging is too much. Let the, God brought these gifts to make the gospel superior. The, the way we communicate this thing, we are the mercy of people's wills. We beg, we beg, you know, everybody, oh yeah, lift your hand now. Is Jesus not here? My Jesus. And everybody's looking at you, where is he? And you are negotiating with them. No, the Bible says that when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech, but in the demonstration of power. If you are a prophet if someone gives you a word of knowledge it will impress you you won't say because i'm walking it it's like you are it's like you are a nurse when you are sick won't you turn for injection will you say because i'm a nurse? no another nurse will give you an injection and you will receive it so that you'll be well listen i want you to cry tonight and say lord my family needs salvation let this gift of the spirit work in my life pray one minute there are doubters in my community insulting and blaspheming the name of the Lord all oh, that you would grant me access oh God the word of knowledge supernatural illumination insight into events explaining the mysteries of the lives of men helping men make sense of their lives hallelujah please sit down number three discerning of spirits i can spend the whole night here but let's see how god will help us what's discernment or we call it discernment or discerning of spirits please do not joke with this gift this gift of the spirit will be um, it will bail you out of many pains are we together what is discerning of spirits the gift of perception perception the ability to perceive spiritual impulses the ability to know the origin, the source, and the motivation behind the manifestation. The origin, the source, and even the motif behind the manifestation. It's called discernment. Whether activity is initiated and sustained by God whether it is an act of man's will or it is demonic you will never judge them by the physical results it will take discernment for you to know that which is of God brothers and sisters let me tell you and I submit to you with all humility it will be foolish to imagine everything happening in the body of Christ is of God no there are things that are orchestrated by demons there are doctrines that came from devils the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter days some will depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons there is such a doctrine as the doctrine of demons not the study of demons an understanding that was fabricated intentionally from the pit of hell to destroy the saints are we together you need discernment it is only through discernment that you can judge righteous judgment it's impossible for you to judge accurately if you lack discernment you will call good evil you will call evil good you will call saints devils you will call devils saints it takes discernment
The realm of the spirit is not heaven. The realm of the spirit is a spiritual environment. The environment that birthed this realm. The raw materials that have now crystallized as matter in this realm came from the realm of the spirit. And anyone who has access to the realm of the spirit has a superior advantage, whether through divination, whether through the Holy Spirit or any other spirit, any spirit that can access the realm of the spirit has an advantage over this realm. That's why Jesus said, I am the door. There are many other entrances, but he says, I'm the authorized entrance, meaning you can enter the house through a window. You can enter the house through somewhere. If I enter your house, if you step into your house and you find me and I crawled my way through a gutter somewhere, am I inside your house? Yes. Did I enter legally? No. The authorized way is the gate and the door. I've told you every power you see being manifested on earth is God's power. Every plus the power manifested by witchcraft. Once have I spoken, twice have we heard that all the only reason why it is called witchcraft is because there is an agenda behind that result and the whole spirit is not the spirit that authorized that possibility to find expression. So there is the correctness of the result does not mean it is of God. The correctness of the result is gauged by the spirit that sponsored it. Any activity in the realm of the spirit sponsored by the Holy Spirit has God's endorsement. That means that it is possible this guy can be sick and as a herbalist I can conjure leaves based on a book my grandfather taught me, correct? And he says when you put lemon and add it with guava drink, pour charcoal on it, set it on fire in the night, it can raise a kind of incense that will bring health to him. And my grandfather will say that's how we lived healthy. This guy can be sick. I will conjure those things. It will shock you right in your presence the way the guy will be healed. He'll say, I can't feel pain again. He said, that's it. And he'll go and bring someone else. Now, if I come as a man of God and I say, wow, we are brothers. We are not brothers. We are not brothers. We are not brothers. Are we together? No, we are not brothers. Brothers are those from the same father and mother or at least father. Correct? We can't be brothers. You see, because the spirit... One time, I was ministering to a lady and they took her somewhere in Zaria here. And she, she described a very nasty experience that she had. She said when she went there, one of the things that happened to her was that they will burn, you will drop your money, not honorarium, there's an exact amount that you drop. Once you drop the man, you know, the whatever it is, will now call certain names, cajole, you know, read from books, slates and all kinds of things. And the moment they say it, a spirit would tell that man um, whatever spirit influence. And then all of a sudden, you know how it happens when people manifest. The, the victim now will start shaking, shaking and before you know it, the spirit will start speaking. Now here's the interesting point. After all the conversation with the spirit, you now ask Moya, why did you come? Maybe they annoyed me or I didn't eat. You know how spirits talk. They are so dull. I have no, I've not eaten. And you people are eating in this land and we are here hungry. And then instead of casting out the devils because they cannot cast out the devils they do what we call occultic pacifism you pacify by an atonement you see that so you is the spirit that will tell you what it will eat so the spirit to say one black goat you said oh, that's it you to all of you had it's not me that wants to eat the goat and then they bring the goat and the only thing the man burns is the legs and the head <laughs> Who will not burn that part and settle down with the real part of the goat and said, Look, he that serves in the altar should, should eat from the altar. And then when I looked at the lady in my mind, I said, What is what is all this thing now? And you know, before I would talk, all of a sudden that spirit just started manifesting. And I said, Honestly, I don't have all this time. Please. I'm tired. Just live in the name of Jesus Christ. And that was the end of it. When the lady got up, her mother was surprised and watch this because that this thing you will go for many days it's not like you will go once if you don't complete the uh, the the program the demon gave it can backfire and kill everybody you know how it happens and all of that 
let me tell you all that is nonsense i repeat nonsense absolute nonsense there is a name oh, that was given to believers there is a name there is a name it says in my name it didn't say the mentioning of it you can shout jesus till forever and like the sons of skiba demons will pound on you like many people talk it's not about pronunciation there is a guy there's one guy that committed a crime recently his name is jesus i'm a, one one of these funny guys now not it not the footballer i was reading i said jesus can you imagine that guy so you stand and shout and while you are shouting jesus jesus no it is not in the pronunciation it's in the revelation the miracle is in your understanding that's why jesus looked at them and said go one of the standard proofs of spiritual maturity is discernment you cannot say you are matured in the spirit if this gift is not working in your life brothers and sisters i submit to you and i join the many loving men of god around the world and together we take responsibility for not helping the body of christ mature we have produced miracles we have produced signs and wonders but the average believer is not mature at all we do not understand the speakings of the spirit we do not know how to interpret spiritual things we are dull of hearing no ears that hear no eyes that see but god is helping us in jesus name there are many other texts that talk about discernment the bible says in hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 let me give it to you please just write very quickly hebrews chapter 5 verse 14 the bible says that strong meat is for those who are of full age who by reason of use have learned to exercise their senses to discern between good and evil in acts chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18 when you read acts 16 from verse 16 to 18 paul came into a city and there was a young lady the bible called her a damsel he said that this lady had the spirit of divination and some business people saw her and saw the potentials in her and they negotiated she would give word of knowledge and prophecy and she would bring money and the bible says they made much gain with it and then one time she saw paul preaching and here's what she said that's why you need discernment these are the holy men of god they have come to show us the way of righteousness let me tell you what many of us will do say wow you mean how long have you been in ministry I never knew that. I mean, you are so generous. You don't know me. You're already talking about me. So let's walk together. Can we walk? Come to my pulpit on Sunday, even if it's a Saturday night. Listen, please. Hallow your altar. Don't bring anybody just because you saw gifts. Let there be a system of vetting for the sake of the sheep. Are we together? These are the men. The first day, Paul kept quiet. Second day, the Bible says she kept doing it. One time, Paul looked. And said wow prophesying word of knowledge and paul just switched in the realm of the spirit and saw a demon manipulating and said look hurry up let we must make gate and paul casted that demon you know they beat paul because of it the rest is history the people were angry because they knew that business was closed for them as soon as the lady was delivered she got up madam are you seeing nothing i'm not seeing anything again lord give us discernment first kings chapter 3 verse 16 to 28 first kings chapter 3 verse 16 to 28 we don't have the time but let me give you that story i wanted to use it as the text the classic text to explain discernment for you the bible says that god gave solomon an understanding heart and his first test was two harlots who came before him praise god the Bible says that those, all of them had, you know, they had a child each. And then the Bible says, whilst they were sleeping, one slept on her child. I don't know what kind of sleep that was. And suffocated the child to death. Then she got up in the middle of the night, shook her child and found out her child was dead. And quietly replaced the child. The next day when they got up, there was, there was an issue. The woman wanted to breastfeed her child. And noticed that the child was dead but she looked well and said no this is not my child off they went to Solomon and when they got there 
the woman who swapped the child started, you know, they started advocating and said this and that and that and Solomon looked. That was a serious situation. Now notice, this is what I want to teach you. Notice how Solomon manifested discernment. The first thing he did was he said, bring the sword. That's the word of God. Go and get me the sword. This confusion requires the word of God that is able to cut asunder and divide between bone and marrow. That knife was a similitude of the sword of the spirit. Discernment is impossible if you do not understand the character of God. Not just the word of God. You must know what God can do and what he cannot do. The operation of any spirit must be consistent with the general operation of God. Such that even if you do not find a scripture for it, it still must be consistent verbatim. And so when they brought the sword, he said, bring the child. Bring the issue of contention. This is how we are going to discern. We are going to use the word of God to divide that issue. And immediately he lifted the sword. The sword was not for the child. It was for their hearts. The woman, the woman whose child was, like the Bible says, can a mother forget her suckling child? I said, no, no, please. If it's issue of death now, hand it over. And the other woman was saying, you see, I'm right. And Solomon said, I've gotten my answer. Madam, give this woman her child. Go and bury your own child. Discernment. Let me tell you something. In this our world, somebody can steal a laptop and sell that laptop and wear a suit and swear and say, me? Do I look like somebody who can steal a laptop? You need discernment. You can see somebody that looks like a thief truly. Looks like a thief, scattered, disorganized, but he may be one of the most honest persons in your life. Is that true? Policemen need this. Our, our, because the number of people in prison today that are not supposed to be there is only God that will help. You can look at me now, never believe that I'll steal a laptop. What for? But what if I have a spirit that makes me steal it? Are we together now? We have blamed innocent people. They carry money in your house and you come, no discernment. You call everybody. And a smart young chap who is the thief about to go for lectures. And one guy just comes out. He's, he may not be born again, but he doesn't steal. And you look at him and say, come. Are you going to just bring this money out now? Or they will arrest you. And he say, I'm not the one. You need discernment. If you do not have discernment, you are going to destroy your leadership because the world is full of deception. Are we together? Someone can be killing you and look at you and smile while you are dying, while they are piercing you. That's the person who said, don't promote this person. This person is not from this state. And you come and meet him and say, sir, my portion is stretching. He said, my son, ha, oh yeah, sit down. What did you discuss with them? And they were busy, this fool. But with discernment, as soon as you sit down, something in your spirit, you may not see a vision, but something refuses to agree. Something just says, uh uh. So, have you ever wanted to do something? Maybe you wanted to do business with somebody, or you wanted to do a discussion, or you were just saying, We are going to be partners, and you could not sleep in the night. Not fear, I'm not talking of fear. For, and everything, physically speaking, was correct. Have you ever made up your mind that you are going to ask a lady out? You prayed, you fasted, you were happy. On that day, after you talking and put your tie, your spirit, your, your peace ceased. Ah. He said, I mean, I, I look forward to this time. Let me tell you why many people land into trouble. We numb those things and continue and continue. You were about to travel, but the thing in your spirit, not fear. And you ignored it. Discernment is powerful. Discernment is powerful. But let me tell you something. No matter, most people train their discernment just by prayer. They never study the word. That's why they get into confusion. Are we together? If all you do is pray and pray and pray and pray, 
your eyes will be open to the realm of the spirit but your capacity to interpret the impulses will be wrong that's why you will give false visions you will give false interpretations you will see a nice lady come darling you will see a nice lady like this lady now and you just sense something demonic in her and because you do not have the word to understand you just look and say kai i stood near this lady and i had some this lady must be a witch no sir she's not a witch you are not a good bible student you are a prayer warrior but you do not understand the word and you are using error to now change this lady and call her a witch are we together now let's be very careful we have we have destroyed people's lives pastors have used inaccurate discernment alongside other gifts to scatter marriages hello we have called everybody witch you just turn and you look at a lady like this say why are you looking fine like this you are a witch no you are not a witch pray for two of them and see who who gets delivered we must be careful discernment is needed in our day today do you know prophets cried in the bible when things happened and they did not see it or or perceive it they said lord why did you hide this from me may god build us to a point where nothing passes above you without your spirit receiving the sin hallelujah praise the lord or some of us have those impulses but we do not know how to interpret it and respond to it you've been having an impulse like death is around the corner but you didn't know what to do until somebody died and said yeah so this is what i've been feeling those impulses are not caused by demons it is the holy spirit listen to my message spiritual perception the holy spirit is attempting to communicate to you if you do not have the word of god your dreams will be corrupted hello because dreams and visions are also an extension of discernment am i blessing you one of the most deceptive tools that Satan is using now, I think in the last four or five years, has been aberrated dreams and visions. God would make your destiny, the devil would try to use the face of your destiny helper to chase you in a dream. You stand up and bind him for two hours, and reject him in the physical, and remain poor and broke forever. We have to be careful. Satan has made families fight today. By using the faces of mothers and fathers and you just say, I saw my mother with a knife. I say, I don't care. She will die. Be careful. Be careful. Listen, our only basis for escaping error is the word of God. Please, you have to believe what I'm saying. The study of scripture is important. It gives us an insight into how God works so we can judge from that lens. There are many dreams when you get up, you are just supposed to say nonsense. Blast in tongues for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, one hour, and that ends it. But some of us document everything. Plus, wicked dreams from the pit of hell, we document it. And then when you are mentoring somebody one day, you say, these are my cup of dreams, read it. And then the guy reads it and says, wow, strange creatures. I said, it's the realm of the spirit, just keep reading. You see, let me tell you, don't laugh. I'm saying this because there are people now who are not even sure of anything again. Is that true? Satan can manipulate dreams. One brother can have a dream and see ten sisters. He saw one. When he was praying about her, he saw another. You, you see confusion? I'm not saying he's a bad brother. But now you've seen ten ladies. You are now confused. So even if somebody comes to prophesy and say it's, it's um, sister seven that you saw, number seven, you say, what of two? I, I first saw one before seven and confusion. What of people who marry and have dreams and see someone who is not their husband and get up and say, that means I made a mistake. I knew it. I knew that this, look, you are married, you are married. There is grace to live. There is grace to work it out. It is this lack of thing that can make a man who has been with a woman for 20 years. She gave you children. All of a sudden, you made money. And then you go and meet. And, and it's usually us, prophets and apostles. You come and meet us and then we just conjure all kinds of stories. The man goes back home and drives the wife. Say discernment. Say it again, discernment. 
you need discernment you need discernment to know who to help someone comes to lie down in your room all through that night strange occurrences happen it's, it's not a devil but he needs help are we together people bring atmospheres discernment helps you to pick the impulses of people sometimes as I minister to people that's how I know they are, they are in trouble they may come out for something else but as I stand there are all kinds of things happening and I know that something is wrong something is wrong when you train yourself you can discern the presence of angels you will not see them but you can describe them it's a mystery you will know not just that they are angels but what kind of angels and their operation you can know their direction are you see if now you see let me tell you if your spirit is not trained to understand this you will always think that the people who are saying it are lying and there are people who are lying are we together but you can discern it you can know you can train yourself in a room by the time you are worshiping and the shekinah of god comes not just by your shaking you know i'm not alone this is zion now this room has changed you that's how you discern anointings as a man of god and you don't use anointing like a general purpose machine gun you won't be effective in ministry like that because you will be ministering an area you sense the anointing but you could not discern what kind of anointing and to what degree so we can be ministering here now and all of a sudden the healing anointing now begins to come if you do not have that discernment you can be saying something else and you see the anointing just like the holy spirit is very sensitive when the anointing comes into a place and it's not acknowledged and channeled by faith for operation it will be unfruitful as powerful as it is nothing works without faith even the anointing everyone say discernment think of how many things that have happened in our lives because we lack discernment we need to cry for discernment we need to cry for discernment can we pray in one minute say lord discernment grant discernment to discern good and evil to discern opportunities to discern helpers to discern enemies to discern doors to discern manipulations of demons over my life hallelujah hallelujah you need discernment i think he was in koinonia here one time after a very hot miracle service the very next day some guys called a the lady they called the lady and said she won uh, I, I, I don't I can't remember the amount but a very huge amount you know let's assume maybe one million or five million and told her you won it make sure you don't tell anybody quietly find your way to the front of I, I think it was um, maybe first bank or somewhere like that and they met that lady there the rest is history the next thing that lady found herself in Kaduna in a building. One of our ladies, she's no longer here, found herself in Kaduna. They took her somewhere in your Kaduna, one place that looks like a warehouse. It was as if her eyes, I don't know how to, you, you get what I'm saying? As if you are, you, are, you are awake, but it's as if they did something to your eyes. And all of a sudden, her, it's like her eyes, she came back to herself and she called me. I said, where are you? And she said, I'm so, 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 please. I said, hey, can you walk out and see a bike there? I said, take a bike immediately. Straight. I told her, take a bike straight to Kao. No matter how much, just arrive there first. I was waiting for that lady until she arrived. And I said, what happened to you? She said, honestly, she doesn't know. I remember one thief that Pastor Jakes caught in. I think Pastor Jakes was going to Sabo or something. And then the guy was, you know, some of them use charm abracadabra they sit down and they do something they, they don't put their hand there they can just hang it around and your money follows them from today that devil that comes near you the, the fire and the discernment you will you will know and you will hold the hand and tell him look 
not everybody is a normal human being there are people who are men plus possibilities men plus possibilities hallelujah can we touch on one more gift let's touch on diverse kinds of tongues How many have I done? One, two, three. Let's do four. We can continue next week because there's something I want to talk about that is hot in my spirit. I was preparing it well. I was, let's just talk about tongues. The Bible tells us that there are diverse kinds of tongues. Everybody say diverse kinds of tongues. When the Bible says diverse, that means that there are different kinds of tongues. Probably, I think one of the greatest conflicts between and thank God for great men of God like Reverend Tende who wrote a book. I think it was a book particularly tailor-made to the northern church to help most every Christian pray in tongues. Wonderful text, you can get it and read it. It was an attempt to give a, a very solid 21st century biblical foundation because probably one of the greatest points of conflict between the Pentecostal charismatic and the orthodox is this dividing line of this subject of tongues is that true many of us come from backgrounds and families where people have different kinds of responses some of us even as we are now probably we are still there's an internal war over the issue of tongues the Bible talks of diverse kinds of tongues and in 1st Corinthians 13 Paul gives us a little, he opened it more to us. He says, though I speak with tongues of men and tongues of angels. Tongues of men refer to any earthly language. The language understood by men, used by inhabitants upon the earth. The tongues of angels refer to supernatural communications, not just languages used by angels, angelios, messengers. Any being that hails from the realm of the spirit, communicating a language that is not known to men is called the tongues of angel. It was an ancient way of communicating spiritual things. The Bible, and theologically speaking, identifies, broadly speaking, three kinds of tongues. Number one is what we call tongues for personal edification and growth. You may want to write it down. Maybe you will help somebody with it. Tongues for personal edification and growth. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 2. The Bible speaks there. He says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue, speaketh not unto men, but to God. Not unto men, but to God. So there is tongues that is for personal edification and growth. There's tongues that the Bible says, that is a sign to unbelievers. Are we together? As was the case in Acts chapter 2. When you read from verse 4 to 12. The day of Pentecost. The Bible says that the people were filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak in tongues. And among the many variations of tongues. They were communicating earthly languages. Are we together? And most of the people came and heard them. Let's go to verse 6. Just give us verse 6 and let's, let's look at what... It says, and when the sound of God, the multitudes came together and they were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Can you imagine? Almost every language there was represented. Someone was communicating it. Now, the communicators did not even know what language they were speaking. But the listeners, they were not just speaking a language in the spirit and interpreting it. They were communicating a language they never learned. Hallelujah a sign to unbelievers history is full of people who have done that it happened to kenneth e hagin it happened to rw shambach of blessed memories people who would go to certain lands to preach and there would be no interpreter and the power of god would fall on them and they would preach in chinese fluently for that period of time afterwards everything goes down so there is tongues as a sign to unbelievers. Then number three, there is tongues as a ministry gift. Tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body. Tongues as a ministry gift for the edification of the body. 
1 Corinthians chapter 14, when you read from verse 4 and 5, 5 particularly, the Bible talks to us about that. Tongues, very important. It says, I wish you all spoke with tongues, but even more that you should prophesy. It says, for he who prophesies is greater than he who speaks in tongues. Unless, that means this is the condition for them to become equal. We are coming there. That the one prophesies is greater than the one who manifests these kinds of tongues. Unless, that means the moment there is an interpreter, what he's speaking and the interpretation will equal prophecy. Are we together now? Yes. Now let me show you where the confusion is before we talk about diverse kinds of tongues. Give us verse 29 and 30. This is where many people have erroneously carved out a basis for confusion. 12, 29 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, 12, 29 and 30. Are all apostles? What's the answer? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? No. Watch this now. Do all have gifts of healing? No. Here's where many of our dear, wonderful men and women of God who are well-meaning, love the Lord, but have inaccurate understanding of the word of God. This is where the confusion has come. It says, do all speak with tongues? Now look at what context of tongues. The next verse, do all interpret. So he's talking about tongues as a ministry gift. Not tongues as for your personal edification. Are we together now? Not everybody will manifest the gift of diverse kinds of tongues. What is it really? The gift of diverse kinds of tongues is a supernatural communication. Listen. Prophecy in an unknown, unknown, an unknown language. Be it heavenly or earthly. Prophecy in an unknown language. You are communicating a word from the Lord to the people of God. But it is in a language that is not known by you the speaker. And most, most often than not by the listeners. When you communicate a word from the Lord that is supposed to edify the people. Are we together now? But it's just that it came in a language that is not known by you the speaker nor the listeners. There must be the Spirit of God must move upon you the speaker or another person to break down that spiritual message you brought so that the listeners can hear and apply their faith to it and receive. So when I begin to say everybody pray in tongues, there are a number of people who have problem with it and say no, it's not in the Bible. It, it was there in the day of Pentecost. The church in Corinth were manifesting it. In fact, let me tell you this. Paul himself made a very profound statement. And he said, I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all. When you read 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18. And then you read verse 39. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 18. And then verse 39. He says, I thank my God I speak with tongues more than you all. Paul is saying, look, 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 look. I pray in tongues more than ye all. Not just that I, I interpret all of this. See that? It is important. Please listen to me. If you are here seated, maybe you are just coming today inside or outside. And you have shortchanged yourself because you have probably been sincerely but wrongly indoctrinated. That praying in tongues is a gift that is for a few people. The person who communicated that is not in error. He was only incomplete. Is that true? What kind of tongues? If he means the gift of diverse kinds of tongues, he's correct. It's not for everybody. The Bible says that. And where that gift is manifested, it is only beneficial to the body if there is an interpreter. The individual who communicated it or another person. But the Bible says the tongues for edification does not need interpretation because not speaking to men. We are speaking to God. 14 verse 2. See that? Are we together now? Have you gotten that clearly? So this is very, very important. You are here and you are not filled with the Holy Spirit. I can begin to give you a rundown of several things you are missing. When the ministry was a lot smaller, I used to do that by myself. Then Pastor Jakes came, joined, Ejimitu used to join. And now the ministry is, is so large. We've handed everything to the prayer department. 
and boy are they doing a great job if you are here you are not filled with the holy spirit with evidence of praying in tongues i want you to know that tuesday is a wonderful opportunity for you come whether or not it's their their baptism you know a prayer you just come and make sure that they can minister to you hallelujah let me stop here and talk on words we will take from interpretation of tongues and and the rest because next week please don't mix next week it will be a very great impartation the lord instructed me to activate this gift but i want to talk on words the holy spirit while i was getting ready to go and take my bath i was just you know praying a little and then the holy spirit began to minister to me the anointing of the spirit just came strong upon me and the lord told me that i should speak to people about words write this down words are god's instrument of creation words next week when i teach you the I, we finish the vocal gifts and the power gifts we'll talk some more but it's important for you to know words are god's instrument of creation and one classic proof of spiritual growth and maturity is the ability to speak consistent with the word of god listen carefully the ability for your communications and your speakings to always without fail be in line with the word of god now sometimes in an attempt to press into deeper dimensions of god listen carefully and i must admit this to you you know sometimes as we press towards superior dimensions in the spirit which is valuable we tend to trivialize some of these foundational truths and look at them as though they are basic they are for children at every level of your work with god your words will be the programmers of your destiny write it down your words are the programmers of your destiny you don't talk anyhow speak antichrist you must culture your words by the word of god you must ensure that your communication is building your life and your destiny many of us have destroyed our lives because we have allowed our words let me show you a few scriptures that will really challenge you can i give you some verses about words that have really really blessed me i tried to write the five or six most powerful scriptures i have found about words and i will give it to you ready media please help us if we can project them they will be great um we need some speed here so that we can pray number one john 6 63 john 6 63 the words that i speak unto you jesus is speaking he says it is the spirit that quickeneth listen the flesh profited nothing the words that i speak unto you they are not just sounds that enter your ears they are spirit and life so while you are saying it is not for people like us we are the nobodies you are sending spirits you are sending instruments of creation you are sending messengers into your future programming war programming tragedies for you words are powerful god created the universe through words the only thing god did not create through words is man and he said it is just that he added with his hand again every other thing god said god saw god said god saw Number two, Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 4. And then we'll go to Matthew 12, 37. Let me give us a verse ahead. Media, please give us quickly. Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4 and then Matthew 12, 37. It says, where the word of a king is, these are the scriptures that have blessed me and shaped my understanding of the power of the spoken word. Where the word of a king is, there is what? Power except you are not a king but if you are a king and the bible says five verse ten of revelations don't go there just write it it says that we have been made unto our god kings and priests a kingdom of priests and we shall how do we reign remember i've taught you dominion mandate one of the ways that we legislate is through the power the our legislature through words for where the word of joshua selman is there is power where the word of anybody in koinonia who has an understanding that means if i see things happening in my life and i don't like what is the first thing to do please talk to me what is the first thing to do listen listen 
don't let anybody make you feel these things are basic no you didn't create the realm of the spirit you came from there anybody that is born and says i will not eat food the regular way i want to live my own way except you have caught the revelation of being a breatharian just know that you are going to die and die you will die and you will shrink and die like somalian children the authorized way is that you continue to eat where the word of a king is there is power matthew chapter 12 and verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified like a court of law there is a spiritual court right the realm of the spirit works on a legal basis he said for by thy word as easy as salvation is it takes words to impart the life of christ to you the word is near thee even in thy heart and in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right romans 10 verse 8 to 10 for by thy words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned so when you are condemned who condemned you it's not really that your neighbor no no you only attracted to your life what your words made i refuse to speak negative about myself i refuse it you will never hear me say anything sarcastic about myself i love myself uh, i think it was school of ministry students i was teaching and i was telling them that these people that hang themselves it has been a wonder for me for many years even if i were not born again i won't hang myself no i love myself passionately hang myself no i may quarrel myself i may challenge my body to hang to go and stand on a rope and just tie myself no by your words you are justified by your words you are condemned Isaiah 43 verse 26 then we go to Numbers 14 28 and then just two more and we're done I just felt like speaking to us about words by the Spirit of God because many believers are becoming careless we speak anyhow and we don't mind and we keep programming things that destroy us and then we say it doesn't matter it does matter brothers and sisters everybody who worried everybody who strives for mastery must do so lawfully we don't invent the rules we find them out it's an ancient part and we walk in it isaiah 43 and verse 26 he says the b part he said declare thou that thou mayest be justified how do you justify yourself so how does the sick justify himself i'm healed in the name of jesus yes there might be pains but i decree and declare by his stripes i am healed now when you are saying this you see a lot of emojis look at you and say you are still a baby christian until one day as matured as you think you are the devil is not a fool he will just allow pride to reach the highest point and sweep you one day in a way that you won't believe i speak over my life i speak over koinonia koinonia is planted the bible says they that be planted in the house of the lord they shall flourish in the courts of our god even in old age he said they shall be fat and flourishing many of us used to do it before but now that we are becoming men of god we are throwing it away get back it is the childlike principle that has lifted ordinary people to become mighty if i tell you i don't speak the word i'll be lying i speak the word Shabakatoria. joshua selman you are blessed you are blessed i have a little blackboard with scriptures I recite those scriptures when I'm praying and God did extraordinary things through the hands of Joshua Selman so that handkerchiefs and aprons you don't wait till you see the result it is the words that command the results in the name of Jesus I declare wealth and riches are in my house durable riches I decree and declare I shall not die I'm exempted from the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence People like Pastor Chris who say, keep, how, how does he say it? I, 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 thank you. Keep saying it. Don't stop talking it. Do it, oh. Do it like that. That's how it works. Believe me, that's how it works. You don't speak once and keep quiet. Listen, if I speak and I say in the name of Jesus, any spirit oppressing anybody, 
and people are outside there why can I not speak and say in the name of Jesus everywhere my destiny helper is by the favor of God come that you saw it in the Bible is no guarantee that it will happen in your life you must speak speaking is so important to the point that they had to shut the mouth of Zechariah so that he would not speak nonsense if he had spoken he would have altered John the Baptist's destiny Numbers 14 28 very interesting scripture I found this scripture during a retreat Numbers 14 28 say unto them as truly as I live saith the Lord as ye have spoken in my ears not as you desire quietly as you have spoken in my ears question where was the ears when you were speaking did the ears come near your mouth so while you were blasting and saying in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I decree and declare oh grave where is your sting oh death where is this and that and you are prophesying and you are speaking and you are saying in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I have a job the Lord grants me favor I may not have an uncle I may not have an auntie but in the name of Jesus God raise helpers the Bible says God is bringing his ears down and is hearing he says as I you have spoken in my ears so will do not to your neighbor to you to you to you Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 Isaiah 44 verse 26 talking about the Lord it says he that confirmeth the word of his servant confirm meaning you speak and go let me tell you something and performeth the counsel of his messengers I want to teach you something about faith look up get any of my teachings on faith let me teach you something about faith you see pastor come Satan has lived very long in this realm believers hear me let me speak to you Satan has lived very long in this realm and he understands that man out of the assistance of the spirit has one limitation it's called our humanity and part of the components of our humanity is that we can be wary is that true remember the Bible says the keeper of Israel you know doesn't sleep doesn't slumber but men sleep and they can slumber are we together so this is what he does Satan knows that your eyes your optical eyes your ears all of these things control your perceptions hence your convictions and so what he does is he he makes sure that perpetually before you is an awareness of your limitation are you hear what I'm saying now listen to me so while you are praying in the middle of hot prayer the devil just comes in and says where is the husband and you would think it will enter you because you are in the spirit it will just enter you and you say oh God am I not a beautiful lady what is all this you see he has brought you back to his realm the Bible says to walk in the spirit let me tell you what to do when that happens that's a sign that you, a reaction is happening in the spirit every time you make such a proposition please help that lady that is a sign that something is happening in the realm of the spirit are we together I remember the time when God showed me the vision of koinonia we're about to start I saw overflows remember I, I said I saw people coming from other cities, other places. That was what I saw. As at that time, they had not even expanded CGC. I remember when I was praying and I was going to go and announce it. Well, I was praying, 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 praying. There came that voice of doubt again. Don't think it doesn't happen to me. No. Most people will lie to you and say it doesn't happen. It's a lie. It happens to everybody. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That while you are praying and the devil says you now want to disgrace yourself. And God, you have not even gotten a venue they have not given you anything just because God showed you CGC you now want to make a stupid statement but the Bible says the spirit of faith has a character it speaks it doesn't wish and hide no 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 it speaks the spirit of faith it speaks it speaks 
oh let me let me play it safe when it, when the answer comes so that i won't be embarrassed question whoever takes the glory should take the shame every time you speak you put pressure on god's integrity lord i take your word and i shout it let them hear so that if it does not happen they, no 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 i can't give you the glory and take the shame many of us here we have been threatened by our physical circumstances into silence let the redeemed of the lord not whistle say so say so i say it all the time i stand before my mirror joshua selman you are anointed you are rising from glory to glory superior dimensions of the anointing the favor of god is upon you sometimes i'm listening to koinonia message and while apostle is prophesying i'm there in my house kneeling down and listening because there are two different people i tell you and i listen i listen to apostle's message i listen to his message more than many of you here i can sit down and claim because i'm the one ministry and never be blessed from it there is no koinonia message i've not listened to not for clarity and administration God is my witness. I stand before him in your presence. Lift up your hands and I'm on my knees. Sometimes I play miracle service messages all while I sleep. And I have strange encounters. Don't think this thing we are just faking it. You don't walk this thing. It will never work. God is not a herbalist. Are we together? Sometimes I carry maybe Benny Hinn message or something. I'm playing and in the sleep it continues mysterious encounters when you wake up the devil will say pastor alpha you have been prophesying for two weeks you to reason and you say no sir this is what many of us do god but it's true now see if you if you don't stop getting embarrassed by the absence of your result you will never walk by faith are you hearing what i'm saying this shame shame believers hear me I'm speaking to you by the spirit this shame consciousness of looking like a fool while awaiting your manifestation every miracle you see we risk taken by faith Lord I thank you nations are coming this ministry is rising oh you are talking too much thank God I'm not talking to you Lord you who I'm talking to you know me I, come on please don't go and shout in somebody's house it's not your house that's why the bible says, close your door enter your room close your door talk to your father they may not be money now but in the name of jesus father i'm a tither i'm a giver in the name of jesus i prophesy Jakatabata. and while you are speaking the holy ghost just says dance for one hour aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. the word has come and you put one hot Igbo high praise hot high praise you may not know how to sing well she can sing for you you know those 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 wonderful Igbo sisters and you are dancing apostle i can't dance dance anyhow there is an instruction you dance like david dance and while you are dancing all of a sudden in that foolishness of faith the God I serve, who takes the weak things, the foolish things, is working a miracle. You see, let me tell you this. Spiritual people must be childlike, not childish, childlike. We are too matured for results. All this big manism in the presence of God. No, sir. Are we together? Yes. You must speak. You get up and you have a bad dream. You are lying down and one spirit comes to sleep with you and oppress you and you get up and you say kai this thing has happened again no sir in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i've been raised with christ and the devil says didn't the spirit know while you're there just keep it keep at it satan is a coward when he looks at let me tell you something when you are bold enough you will resist him and i promise you he will flee is God speaking to us we have been wasting words the words that are supposed to be used for edification we use that energy for gossip for backbiting for speaking words of unbelief 
Pastor Alpha, that, that, that prayer we prayed that time. Shemi, you prayed it too. Let's be honest. Uh, not that I'm saying there's no faith to it. That's not what I'm saying, but is it really working? Just don't, you don't need to let nobody know. Just whisper it to me. That's unbelief. That thing you did is unbelief. Because you are trying to play games with God. Look, if you are in this thing, enter it and stay there and die in it. If you are not in it, then don't fake it. I'm a talking spirit. Truly I talk. Not talkativeness. Reduce half of the time we use jumping around and talking stories and talking nonsense. Go back to the secret place. Kalabotas Kaliadash. This family is a family of peace. This is my husband. This is my wife. We love ourselves. No demon from anywhere is coming to scatter us. You call your child. Daddy thinks you carry him. Say, no, no, no. I'm a priest now. This is not daddy. Bring your head. Shatos scatabaradaba. Let him just be playing around the head or cry. Leave, leave him there. Don't feel sorry for him. Pray. You get up and walk around your house. Dr. Paul and Enche was saying something. They are, the Lord's garden that they are building now. He says almost every day he goes there to speak and build. Just the zinking of it, the, the roofing of that place is six million dollars. Six million dollars to face 70,000 capacity seater. It's not just ritual. He will go there quietly in the night at his level and status. Jakatabada. Lord, you have given the instruction. Let those who will publish it come. The Lord gave the word. I pray over Koinonia. Lord, thank you. Financial help us. Don't just say favor is happening automatically. No. Lord, there are men and women who will bless me every service. I pray that prayer. I'll be honest with you. Lord, I am serving you in truth. And the Bible says, he that ministers to you in carnal things. Lord, I expect favor. I'm a receiver with thanksgiving. I receive grace. You have a troublesome tenant. Someone who is disturbing you and making life easy. Instead of fighting physically, I've taught you spiritual intelligence. Jakatabata. Lord, this woman is making life uncomfortable for my children. In the name of Jesus, I make decree. I'm a man of peace. I declare my borders are peaceful. Even God, who quickened the dead and collects, magnetizes, attracts things that be not as though they were. This is not positive confession. This is creation. 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 I want you not only to be blessed tonight, but to receive the authentic power of the Holy Spirit. If you came here to hear the truth and to be blessed, I'm telling you the truth. The sin that don't easily beset us. Number two. Idolatry. One great sin. That easily besets people. You know what idolatry is? Idolatry is not just building an image. Idolatry is putting your hope. Your trust. And your confidence. In any other thing. Above God. Any other thing. My uncle, my auntie, my this, my that. The Bible says, Woe unto any man, he that puts his strength in a man. This is the reason why many people cannot receive from God. Every time God says, I want to bless you, your mind is going to one uncle. And the truth is, you think you are trusting God. You only remember that your uncle said he will bless you. So when the prophetic word is coming, you are see, you are already calculating. Who told you God needs your uncle to bless you? Are you listening to me? Idolatry. Can you take away every support and say, Lord, you have made a way for men in the wilderness. You have called strangers to bless people. I take my eyes. I've said it. In life and in death, I put my strength in no man aside from God. Whatever God cannot do for me, let it not be done. Wherever God cannot take me, I will not go. 
Are you listening to me? You must challenge yourself. Idolatry. Many people put their whole strength in a man of God. Now I know the Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. You shall be established. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. You must also believe the vessel that God is going to use. But not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles. Are you listening to me? There are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly you will be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence. This is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man. Joshua Selman. The king of kings and the lord of lords. The one who is coming to perform miracles. Let me tell you something. I have confidence and I believe God will use me to bless you. It's not pride. It's the truth. He has anointed us. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the Lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. So for those of you who came here to see the great man. Joshua Selman. You've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus. The Bible says he's the express image of the father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place is the Lord walking through willing vessels to bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. We won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed. I'm anointed. It's an election by grace. It's not pride. It's the truth. The ministers are anointed. However, we will not forget the anointed is only an usher. Christ is the one we are leading men to. So if tonight's miracle does not direct people to Jesus Christ, we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people. Hallelujah. Number three, very quickly. Unbelief. Unbelief. The Bible says in Hebrews, there's no time. It said they did not enter their rest because of unbelief. There, there, there are certain Christians who are so cynical. Listen to me. And many of you need to be delivered from that spirit. Hallelujah. You never believe anything that is God. Someone says, ah, I had a fractured leg. It's just fixed now. And you are just saying, hey, oh, they should allow me to come and stand and check all these stories we are doing. How are we sure that the person, you see, that cynical spirit is what the Bible calls unbelief. Hallelujah. So, when people are opening themselves and receiving, you're just standing there and wondering and saying, wow, interesting. How are we sure this way? How are we sure? How are we sure? That's just the language satanic and demonic hallelujah say I'm a believer tonight don't just watch others and say this thing let me look first if two people get healed that's when I'll be sure or my friend that I came with let's see now if you don't get blessed you can't come and beat us did we collect money from you we will enjoy the blessings of God and move. Whether or not you don't believe that God is at work. Look at the people inside and outside. Their joy unto God will trample your unbelief. 
But I know there is a God who heals, who delivers, who can change the stories of men. The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue. Book of Proverbs, the Bible says six things the Lord does hate. Seven, an abomination to him. The second in that list is a lying tongue. Let me tell you what a lying tongue is. A lying tongue is not just saying, ah, Reuben is wearing kaftan, where he's wearing suit. Are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray in the next five minutes and say, Lord, whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight, take it away from my life. No, no, no. We don't bow our heads in this place. Stand up on your feet. We are going to pray. Now is not the time to sleep. Please rise up and pray. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us. I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie that you are unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my song. Oh Lord, be mad. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside, be magnified. Be magnified. Oh Lord, magnified. Oh Lord, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can. 
I'm telling you, God can do everything. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. We magnify. Oh Lord, we magnify. Lord, be magnified. Now tell the Lord what you want Him to do in your life tonight. Say it so that when it happens, you will know he did it. Don't keep quiet. Say, Lord, change my story. Deliver my family tonight. Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Spirit of Lord. Come and make your presence Lord we be the glory of the Lord Let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance across the land and breadth of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness. As the power of God comes upon you. Let me help them in front. Thou devil of darkness. It's time to go. Let God's people go. 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 Let the power of God fall. Fall. I command demons. Powers of darkness, for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name. Go, or shall bring them outside. That devil, let God's people go. Those outside, lift your hands. The power of God sets men free. Sets men free. Set men free. Katala kapato toto bakata. Randa tabosa. You're going to shout Jesus once, and the power of God. Devils will leave. They must go tonight. They must go. Are you ready? Especially outside, the power of God will fall like rain. Shout Jesus. 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 Jesus.
Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name like fire. I see a whole roll outside. Like fire, a whole roll outside. Like fire is falling like rain. Like fire. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the fire power. Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. Every devil over God's people, those of you in front, at the count of three, I command every devil go, go, one, two, three, out, 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let them go free. Every delay, every habit, every spirit, out of witchcraft, every enchantment.
my sister be free now that devil let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost let her go 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 be free that devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers bring that there hallelujah for you cannot stand the light of God this lady has been tormented Satan out of her now in the name of Jesus be free the heavens are open God's power is touching everybody not just those in front Come out of him now. Come out of him. Come out of him. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now be free. Come out of her. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Upon you. That fire power. Upon you. That fire power. In the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. Hallelujah. I see a woman. I see a woman who came with a child. A woman who came with a, a... I'm seeing a small boy. Where is the woman? Inside or outside? What's wrong with the child? His body is hot. His body is hot. Can you lose him? Can you hold him? If you are deaf, hear me inside and outside. If you are deaf, whether in one ear or both ears, if you brought someone who is deaf, put your hands in the ear that is not working. It's time for deaf people to be healed now. Or even if you are hearing, I see two people. You, you are hearing, but it's not clear because it looks like there's water. You literally feel like water is going to go now. For one of you, water will literally come out. Katapato kopaya. Deaf ears. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Death, yes. Make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God who set this boy yes, free right I, now. Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes. Listen, God there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus I set you free 
the power of God is going through his body. That's what is making him uncomfortable. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Be free now. I command your temperature to go down. Your son is free. Take. Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? Yes. How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? Pain. It's paining you. Yeah. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, 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 turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it, medical students? Help me. Heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Don't worry, I'm not saying you should pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? God will give you a miracle here right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it, please? Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help out with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? 
like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been working with this. Yes, sir. You can't work except you use it. Yes, sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command a fractured leg to go. Let it join right now. See, look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg in the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. Hallelujah. If you're blind in one eye, what happened to you, sir? There was a who knows him? Who came here with him? Oh, you know him. He's a popular person. Is it true that he has been working with this crutch? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Yahweh. I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh. Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. Yahweh, 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious. I'm serious. Please make sure you believe. We are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place. By the power of the Holy Spirit. We command AS and SS to change now to AA. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past two Your years. uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a footballer. My uncle has a twist. So every time... Your uncle has twisted? Yeah. How long? Time, three years now. Every okay. Every time I'm running, the uncle will be making some... Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. It's a devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or Bishop Stan, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. Okay, listen to this testimony. 
I play hockey. I'm a sportsman, and over the years, I've been having this muzu pool. Muzu pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no. Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone I'm seeing pain here. Very severe pain. You even cry. Who is that person? It's time for you to rejoice. Pain. Severe pain is like a shock in your right hand. Who is that person? Pain. No, no, no. Check yourself, please. Check yourself and if act on it. Come on, watch this. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Watch a miracle happen. Could you do this before? Stamp it. Stamp it. Pastor Stanley just prayed for him. Hallelujah. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you are celebrating what God is doing in this place? The hand. The Lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand. Please, when we call your case, just run out quickly. You are the one. Good evening. Thank you. Where is the pain in your right hand? How long has it been? It's up to five years. Now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? I don't know. Just like that. Whenever I stretch it, I feel pain. In the Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, but no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right. Watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead. Don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister. What happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? I used to have a pain here. And you, there was a time I wake up in the morning and I found this on my hand. What is this? I don't know. Alright, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able out of her now in the name of Jesus accomplish what concerns me today is a name of Jesus on a name of Jesus that devil of darkness be gone in the name of Jesus check yourself Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, bring this lady. Just bring her. For God wants to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched, but she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom.
You dislocated your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that healed thee. I am the Lord your healer. I send power of the Holy Ghost. Everyone who brought a sick person, you are a guest. Please come and line up quickly. You brought a sick person. You brought a sick person. Please just pick up. God is doing some. You brought a sick person. Now is the time. Please come out. Let's save time. You brought a sick person. Outside, you brought an invited guest who is sick. Please come quickly. Bring them to the front. What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pains in my chest. Pains. I feel pains. You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe he will set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. One of the watchers. Or is a demonic oppression you will rise up totally fine come come you're welcome come what's wrong with you what schizophrenia schizophrenia we, i think we should employ some medical people who is studying you're a serious medical student or you are a doctor eh? no we have doctors sir please come quickly quickly appreciate him Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist ah oh so it's like madness yes. like a psychosomatic condition you'll be free right now look at me my dear you believe that because devils he said the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted to set the captives free huh my dear hold my hands hold my hands can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right. She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes. Is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. 
just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this is a headache I've been having headache. over a year now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Five. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. All right, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Heaven. Heaven. You're sick in your body, quickly. Oh, oh, oh. standing there I'd like you to be praying say Lord as these hands come upon me an end comes to it don't go back with your sickness those in the congregation be connecting some of you will be receiving the healing anointing in the name of Jesus go by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus
done. I like everyone inside and outside. If you know anybody in your family, listen, who is not feeling fine, or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying, whether it's HIV or cancer, I like you to be connecting. Are you listening? The worshippers are they, they are worshiping. It's not just for the formality of it. They are creating an atmosphere. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? So I want you to connect. Are you listening to me? I want you to connect to what God is doing. Hallelujah. Please. Can you see? Touch this. 
Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven and earth. family has experienced any kind of delay now is the time to let go any kind of delay no 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 no. hold on because of I know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but I'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of God will touch you I sense a strong anointing are you listening to me? A strong anointing. Lord, let it move across right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Restoration for your family. Great restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please, just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah, I see a lot of demonic things. Bakatata. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Batatata Lift your hands, everybody. 
Mantatapakata. Projects that are not completed by your family members. That devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members. One, two, three, like red oh God. Like red oh God. So papa takata. Every spirit of today, go, 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 and command God to be open, break through in the realm of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice, let the doors of destiny be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times. Suddenly, his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploit in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you in the name of the Lord Jesus hold on leave her don't touch her in the name of the Lord Jesus, look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. The contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the Spirit. Tap that lady. Just tap her. Come. All of them. No, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them. Leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, leave that girl she will come out by them by herself if it's the holy ghost he will bring her to the front you will come out by the holy ghost to the front by yourself it's the compelling power of the holy ghost and the castle in the spirit of power there's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. Come 
God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now. In the name of Jesus, be free. Supernatural exploits. I set you free now, sister. I set you free because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit, and I hear what she's saying. The Lord is setting your family free in the name that is above all names. For after the count of five, victory will be established. That's what the Lord tells me. One, two, three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now, be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can we come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere. In Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now. Kemi, for you, look at me. Is a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you, would have, you are supposed to have entered it since. But the Lord is restoring to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. Look at me. There are three breakthroughs God is giving you. Do you understand? One, I will not talk about it. But you know what I'm talking about. The second is in the area of your business. And that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge. Are you listening to me? Wisdom and knowledge. But look at me. God wants your heart like never before. Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. 
let him know he met the king of kings strong impartation in the name of Jesus I command freedom for you I command breakthrough for you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus come you came from a university campus not Zaria where are you you came from a university camp, not Abi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus, not ABU. Who is that person? Please, please come, my brother. Come quickly, come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But well, you don't worry. Is that true? Sir, what did you expect? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I, I'll be looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life Look is. Look at going. me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, sir. because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer let it fall on you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where's the gentleman come from where foot mina mina again how many of you know that God is doing something in mina hold my hands my brother you came you will catch a fire look at me look at me you came with an hung with a hunger God will not leave you just lift one hand up you will feel literal fire coming upon this hand and it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the name of the Lord Jesus, that strong fire upon you, it flows from your hand, from your hand to every part of your body. And look at me, there is the spirit of leadership upon you. You are going back with a strong spirit of leadership. Are you listening to me? I'm hearing the name Rebecca. Sorry, we're out of time. We'll round up now. Rebecca. Rebecca. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Look at me. You are a student? No. Where are you? I'm in secondary school. You are in secondary school? Yes, sir. Will you be available if God uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school? Yes, sir. What school is that? Jama Secondary School. Jama Secondary School. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Say after me, Jesus, I'm available. Like Catherine Kuhlman, let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please. 
did you bring your prayer request all right quickly quickly your prayer request outside make sure your prayer request if you are outside please write it quickly and pass it just stay where you are to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you Futina. Uh, but you need to dedicate time for God huh? you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in you. In the name of Jesus. That you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer request, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming, wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. close to Jessica. Come. Yes, you. Come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you eyes being put upon you Lord I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today in the name of Jesus my dear God wants you you believe that and he wants you this is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you they don't even know where they are going focus on Jesus Christ are you listening to me you need him first ladies what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus if you know how to love and relate with Jesus a man will become an asset to your life are you listening to me hold on we'll soon pray that prayer that special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined do you like that kind of prayer but you must be willing and obedient sister look at me you want me to pray that God will anoint you you want to pray good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please, give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. 
while you bring the prayer request Steve Strings will sing there is none like you I just sense that that's what we need do we have the prayer request please quickly quickly if, let's, let's have it please pour it here quickly quickly alright there's this if you've not written just write we'll give you one minute quickly this is not a ritual God answers prayers I'm telling you My heart like you do I can search to all eternity, Lord And find there is none like you There's none like Jesus There is none like you There is none like you Hallelujah, hallelujah Now listen I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it. Please, everybody, stand up. Jesus is calling many people tonight. Listen to me. Many of you have heard me preach. You've seen the miracles. There are many of you standing outside. And the Lord is speaking to you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For many of you, you have been running away from God. Or you have been born again, but it's one leg inside, one leg outside. No one condemns you, but Jesus is calling you today. You came with your friend, but I like you. Don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ. You need Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way. There are many ways. He said, I am the truth. Hallelujah. I'm going to count one to ten. I like you to leave your seat and run out at that count of don't be ashamed the lord is talking to you many of you from the time i began to preach you have come to the end of the road as i count as i begin to count one to ten i like you to run and come out one two leave your seat and run inside and outside three four run out don't be ashamed of anybody five Outside, God is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Run out and come. Ushers, help them. Ushers, help them. Sing. Leave your seat. Forget about your friend. Forget about whoever you came with. We are waiting for you. Seven. Come to Jesus. Run to Jesus. Don't let your brother make you sit back there. There is a better life. There is a higher life. There is a greater life in Christ Jesus. Better than what you have experienced in eternity and in this No one. Jesus is still calling. Jesus is still calling. No other name. We have two more counts outside. Jesus is still speaking to a few people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. Leave your friend. Leave your relatives. Go on and come here. He's worthy of Nine. We are waiting for the last person. We are waiting for the last person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all of you in front. Just pray this prayer with me, okay? Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you. Please help me. Forgive me for my sins. Make me a new creature. <laughs> Wash me with your blood. Make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. 
blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that has held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on, just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin... Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, please look up. We, are, we don't have time. Pastor Jax is going to speak just in a few seconds and release upon us the spirit of soul winning. Are you listening to me? Everyone must become a soul winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be giving some of us a new heart. It starts with your heart, a compassionate heart. If you are willing and ready for this, the Lord will visit you with it. Some of you will literally feel like fire on your feet. That's what I'm sensing right now. A fire will come upon some of you, your feet. Thank you, blessed Lord. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Up your hands. Lift up your hands as we pray. Blessed Father, Abba Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. I ask that God, you release from heaven. You release a fire from heaven, Lord. You release a fire upon your people from heaven. I ask in the name of Jesus, let there be a visitation. Let the presence of God come upon you. Let the fire of God come upon you. A passion for souls. In the name of Jesus, let fresh fire, let fresh fire be released upon your heart. Your heart begins to burn for souls and pants for it. You will not find rest. You will not find rest. In the name of Jesus, your tongue, the fire of God comes upon your tongue. In the name of Jesus Christ, the fire of God comes upon your feet. The Holy Spirit will lead you to, to, to speak the word, to speak the gospel, the angels of salvation. Lord, we pray that we release in the name of Jesus. 
the four corners of this place, let them be released. Let the oil and the mantle of evangelism be released. We pray, Lord, I pray that you grant your people vision for souls, a hunger for souls, for souls. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Aprendo siba. Rieto mi anta in tush limante risuminta rionte itapila suminante e crucigrasse rista minta sumerete e roba suba la dalla e camaso da pancha pasiba Lord I pray that God is far will born continually we pray to burn continually, Lord. We pray in their hearts. Our hearts will be on fire. Hallelujah. That's the spirit of evangelism. That's the spirit of evangelism. Now Bishop is going to pray. I pray this will fall strong on people. The spirit of prayer. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Many of you need to pray. Lord, the spirit of grace and supplication rest in the house in the name of Jesus. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit and the glow of the altar of the Lord rest upon your heart. Let your heart will yearn. For his presence, that the Lord will make you successful for your family. Well, I will turn to the top and take your family to the goal. Well, I will turn and deliver the truth and the truth of God from the heart and the mouth of the enemy. For the Lord find you and love you and in successful. Men and women of prayer. In the name of Jesus, may the authority of God rest upon your hands. That you will speak for Him. 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 In the name of Jesus, you trust God. The glory of the Lord upon the church from the blood that goes and put on your knees. That will bring the fire. your hands here quickly if you dropped any prayer request here I'd like you to know it will be answered Lord we pray stretch your hands and say Lord go ahead and let's pray Lord do mighty things solve problems bring impossible miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus as we make contact with these requests in the name of the Lord Jesus prophetically wipe the tears of many in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus 
Atata Baradaba Rakata Prokoto Prokoto Baladaba Rakata Prakata Kata 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Every prayer point here, let it be met. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release supernatural miracles for the sake of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands. I want to prophesy. This is the final thing I will go. Please, if you came here, now is the time for you to receive something. Please, don't go back the same. Hallelujah. Listen. See, the apostolic anointing is not just talk. Are you listening to me? The apostolic anointing is an office. Are you, are you listening to me? It's an office. It's not just apostle. This, no, 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 no. It's an office. No man works. The Bible says he gave unto some apostles. It's a position of authority. Are you listening to me? It's an office that is recognized in the spirit. It's, an elect, it's not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an office. God gives us this office to open up doors for others. It's an election by grace. And if you believe it tonight, you will step into a level of blessing. Lift your hands. Lord, if I be a servant of God, truly called into this apostolic office, my God, confirm this anointing upon me. Once again, I invoke the anointing that was given upon me when Jesus appeared to me. My God and my King, let there be a performance. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. I challenge thrones. I challenge dominions. I challenge offices. I stand in the anointing of this office. I compel every closed door over your life, over your academics, delaying marriage. I release you. I call your partner to come to you in the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray that the favor of God for he has granted unto me by grace my God and my King. I see it like water flowing from the ground. Let the favor of God sweep let it sweep across this congregation outside i prophesy favor i prophesy favor i prophesy favor if you can hear my voice receive favor receive favor in your academic favor in your financial favor in your relationship favor in the name of jesus hallelujah I want to prophesy speed upon your life and that of your family members in the name of Jesus before the next miracle service I prophesy run with the spirit of Elijah supernatural accomplishment exploit by the power of the Holy Ghost exploit 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 hallelujah I pray for every project whether in your life or your family building project capital project businesses in the name of Jesus God of heaven the one who is at work in this place I invoke by the power of the Holy Ghost let there be grace for completion receive it receive it outside receive it outside receive it I pray for your academics in the name that is above all names. I want to release it upon you. And if you will believe, I release five points in the name of Jesus. I release it. I release it. I release first class in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
supernatural intelligence every dull mind i command you be productive be intelligent every cause you cannot understand go back and challenge it now in the name of the lord hallelujah i pray against habit masturbation pornography whatever it is if it's a habit that is not of god this moment you have prayed you have fasted you have done everything you know to do but i come under the anointing in this office i command be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray all those who are trusting god for life partners and for marriage listen please if you are not trusting god better put your hand we are not playing here we are very very serious if you are trusting god for i don't mean people coming around first and foremost any guy roaming around your life just to mess up your life i pray that tonight God will open your eyes in the name of Jesus may God expose destiny destroyers this night may God connect you with the will of God for your life I command supernatural marriages for you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus I command any kind of terminal disease and I see this, the Lord is showing me ladies, many diseases, infection, whatever it is. I cause it now to its root in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for your finances. My God and my King, if your word is true, between now and the next miracle service, if it is the God of heaven we serve, you will receive a call if it is a god if it is god that we serve may you receive a call that will shock you i prophesy it i program your spirit to receive it in the name of jesus i hear a call it's a call it's a call that's what god told me it's a supernatural call receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah many of you who have been confused about your life especially men receive grace to sit down and be established in the name of jesus no more confusion the reason why you were born listen to me the reason why you were born between now and the next two weeks everyone here who does not know you are just roaming around the surface of the earth escorting men if God be God, may the reason why you were born be revealed to you in dreams, in visions, by prophetic encounters, by the revelation of the word. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Finally, I pray for you. Lift your hands. There are certain anointings that God has put upon this house. Are you listening to me? Number one, the presence of God. I don't idolize this but it's true number two the favor of God the wisdom of God financial prosperity are you listening to me and such as we have my God and my King may it be released upon you now favor wisdom the presence of God the power of God the miraculous I activate the gift of the Spirit now all across the building the gifts of the spirit receive it gift of healing faith prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues i activate your spirit man visions visions i call for fivefold ministry fivefold offices let the apostolic arise let the prophetic arise let the evangelistic arise let the pastoral arise. Let teaching graces arise. Ba ta 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 ta. Ra ba 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 ba. Boko topotia. Upon ladies, strange order, 
of the prophetic strange order of the prophetic strange order strange order grace to see grace to hear grace to move in power hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up please listen to me in closing all of you hear me inside and outside please listen we're training people to be men and women of character are you listening to me not just anointing it's not enough to have power those who are students you must have character this is the year you will demonstrate the character of the spirit be disciplined be dedicated you can't be flying around every party cannot be it hallelujah your christianity must bear fruit and everyone must witness it hallelujah so as you leave this place go and call all those people that cause you to walk in unrighteousness and let them know you have begun a new walk with god i'm telling you do it go and delete every ungodly song in your phone break all those cities and kick it out of your house you are either a christian or you are not hallelujah you are either a christian or you are not say i'm a man or a woman of character yes the character of the spirit must be at work in your life your conversation you cannot be speaking as if you are not born again and then when you come to church you say hallelujah no you must speak like a christian are you listening to me say amen, amen. inside and outside say amen. amen you must speak like a christian hallelujah you must act like a christian act like jesus is lord of your life anything cannot be it be disciplined you are a leader and be humble say i receive grace for humility if you are an arrogant person in this place i set you free from that spirit of arrogance be humble listen make sure by love you serve people are you listening to me the greater one in the kingdom gone are the days of all these men of god ah protocol for me uh -uh. the greater one is the one who can kneel down and serve are you listening to me take away that wrong mindset of ministry that has been given to people oh you are the woman of god you are the man of god bend down let your work speak for you let to wash the feet of others consider others better than yourself are you listening to me say i'm a christian if you are coming here for the first time let me prophesy into your life please leave your seat and come out inside and outside appreciate them very quickly please come out here quickly come out here quickly please clap for them they are coming ushers lead them to come to the front you are welcome give them a koinonia welcome we'll soon be out of this place now hallelujah quickly quickly thank you jesus come on koinonia will you appreciate them hallelujah 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 please keep coming we'll pray for you i want to thank every one of you for coming this is koinonia hallelujah especially for many of you who came all the way thank you so much for coming we appreciate you we receive you hallelujah we are happy we are proud of you we want to pray for you that this will be the beginning of unusual hunger for god that this will be the beginning of passion for the things of the spirit and that this will be the beginning of an unlimited life of breakthrough in the name of jesus saints of god stretch your hands towards them as we pray we are praying for you may the lord bless you we pray that god will make you better than you are in the name of jesus for those of you who have been healed and touched i pray that your miracle will remain dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua Salmon, and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like 
this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye